What's up, homies? Hey, what's up, homies? My name is Sly Fox, and welcome to Homies Power Level Friday! If you guys don't know what Homies Power Level Friday is, it's the day I ask you guys to leave on this video as much support as possible. Usually, our goal is to hit 9,000 likes. It's our tradition as a homies, but if you guys feel that you can break that and get more likes and show your support out there, then by all means, make sure you do it in this video. It really means a lot. I really don't ask for it as much as I would ask for every other video. But in this one, I really like to show out there, everybody that will come to our channel, I want them to know that the homies are not a force to fuck with. We are too strong, we are too OP. And today, we're gonna be playing Homiecraft again. Uh, usually on Friday videos, since you guys always go out of your way to leave as many likes and crazy amount of like support, I give you guys an hour long Minecraft video. And this time, I'm gonna do something even cooler. Today, we're gonna do the Martha Stewart edition, which we're actually gonna work on my house. This little crickety hole shit that I call my house is gonna be remodeled because for the last episode I keep saying we need to fix the house we need to do something and I haven't I get distracted all the time also by the way guys I did try to fix the texture pack I can tell you see the the sword looks all shitty and whatnot and the water might not look right I did try to fix it but the fact that I have all these different kinds of mods I guess it didn't allow me uh, I'm gonna talk to my to my friend that helps me with the mods. Maybe he can give me a hand and maybe we can get the whole texture pack situation fixed. But realistically, it's not that bad. It really doesn't bother me that much. So, yeah, let's go and start getting our uh, materials and sources. Right now, we don't have any kind of wood. Um, I think. Let me see. Do we have wood here? We do have wood. Holy shit. What am I saying? <laughs> I'm a liar. All right, we need. Do we have. Yes, we have that. So, I'm gonna get a few of this. Um, hmm. we don't have a diamond pickaxe. What the flock? Baraka flock of flame. All right. Um, let's get this. Yeah, uh, we're gonna actually work on the house, make it all look all fun shui, and I'm gonna be talking to you guys and asking you guys questions. So this is the time where you can, uh, you know, ask me any question in the comment section, and in the next episode, I'll definitely try to pick the best and answer them. Uh, but. This is what I'm doing, taking your suggestions to things that I need to do. A lot of people are saying, Sly, you've been saying for the longest that you're going to fix your house. What the fuck, dude? I'm like, okay, you're right. I haven't fixed my house. So I'm actually going to make a decent house. As in late, I've been playing a lot, like different kinds of series, Minecraft, like Minecraft Marriage, The Last Update, uh, all different kinds of shit. And uh, Tree Survival. Um, I, I forgot about that. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with me? Uh, and... And I've been working a lot on, on ba ba like, I was about to say bacon house. What am I? <laughs> Let's make a house out of bread. That would be awesome. No, uh, <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I, I feel like I have an enough knowledge to make a pre-looking motherfucking house. And I think we're going to get to that right now. So we're going to, I think I have enough materials, but just out of curiosity. And I don't know why I'm not looking at you guys. I guess I'm ashamed. <laughs> Shame. But... Oh, well, what can you do? Alright, so let's start fucking cleaning this shit out. Because, yeah, as much as I like the little underground cave, it's just not really cutting it for me and for you guys. You guys were about to rip me a new one. I could tell the anger was boiling inside of you guys and you guys were going to rip me a new one. But in this case, while we're doing all this shit and we're going... This is a Martha Stewart edition, by the way, because, you know, it's a good thing, guys. It's a good thing to be Martha Stewart. Other than the fact that she got caught uh, cheating the system and got sent to jail, she still has mad money. This world, I don't get it. <laughs> if you have money or you're somewhat famous, you can get away with so many things. And that's something I always made, I, I always been proud of. Like, I never have involved my fan base to, to like either fight my battles for me or cause like any damage towards anybody in a negative way. Like, it's any, if anybody were to come to my channel and talk shit, you guys obviously already ripped them a new one. Because, well, you know, I appreciate the fact that you defend me and, and all that. But I never would use my subscriber base, my homies. I wouldn't never want to give them a bad name and use them against other people. Because that's stupid. I don't... Why would you use, like, your fan base to, like, like, shit on somebody that you don't like? That's so immature. Like, I don't know. I always thought that people that do that... We're pretty shitty and I, I never thought, never wanted to do that. I never will and never wanted to and never will happen. I will never use you guys for, for evil, if that makes sense. 
you know, I guess that's just how I am. And if it's wrong, if you think you guys are like, oh, Sly Fox, but if somebody's messing with you, you should definitely ask us to help you. I, I appreciate it, but I don't know. I'm a grown ass dude. I don't need my fans to be fighting my battles. If anything, like what, what I did, I'll use you guys for the best. The, uh, if you guys don't know, the creator of that game that I, that I was showing you guys, uh, the 8 bit Mega Man Deathmatch, actually contacted me and said, wow, seriously, there, this game is more popular right now than it was when it first released. And he was like, he thanked me and he was super happy. And he said, anything you need, just tell me. So uh, I'm going to see what, what can he help us out. Maybe like I'll get you a guide with all the different weapons and what they do and all the information. Because, like, I still want to play that 8-bit Mega Man thing. It's so freaking cool. I really love it. It's so addicting. I don't know why. It's just something about it. It's just right on the right on the feels. Right on the feels. Like, I guess since we already made this over here, we got to keep this intact. Huh. That's kind of shitty, isn't it? Oh, donkey. Donkey! Uh, it's, well, I have the bed with me. All right, so this is what we're working with right now. Hmm. Bunnies. Oh, duck. Hit a one, two, three. Hit a one, two, three. When you see a duck, you gotta hit him with a shovel. Hit that duck with a shovel, shovel. Hit that duck with a shovel, shovel. Yay. <laughs> oh, shit. He dropped meat. I definitely need food because I'm starving, Marvin. Starving, Marvin. The starving, it's Marvin in the world. All right, let's cook that. It's about to turn nighttime, so I can just put the bed anywhere and just go to sleep. I can make bread, actually. I should get that. Hey, white bird. Woo -woo, woo -woo, woo -woo. <laughs> All right, where's my bed? Where's my bed? I'm gonna. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess in this one, it's gonna be more of me talking about, I guess, personal things about my life and and things that that have been going around with me as in late. And yeah, just talk to you guys to fill you in with what's going on with me and everything. So if you guys didn't know, the last month I was sick for a long time. And for some reason, I have this lingering cough that I still have, that I have. My voice is fine and I can like even giggle at my max and and, and happiest. But when, when I giggle too much, it forces like a cough. I don't know why. I guess I still need to get over being sick. But regardless, you know, I digress. I need to, I guess, take care of myself a little bit better because... That was that was a pretty shitty time for for me and I'm assuming for you guys that enjoy my videos that couldn't actually you know see them or me post as many videos as I normally would post. But I'm gonna try my hardest to. Uh, if you guys have haven't noticed, I've been like posting a lot more videos, and it's because like you know I felt bad. I felt like it was summertime. It was one of those months that I should have like really committed to put more videos in. and I really take this job and and this hobby, whatever you want to call it. This is a hobby to some people. This is my job. To entertain you guys, give you guys something to take you out of like shitty, shitty moments of life. Cause like, I I went through a phase in my life where when I was a little kid, I constantly got picked on. I was bullied, and it wasn't it wasn't hardcore bullying. I'll I'll tell you that. I'm not gonna give myself a sad story when I'm real in reality it's not that bad. But I was lucky enough that I had a lot of cool friends. They will always have my back. I guess they were quote unquote what you want to call ghetto friends. And I associated myself with them, and they always have my holy shit. That dog is a rise. They always would have my back, and and I think that's something you guys really need to re, like try to find. Always give any type of clicks a try, because eventually these people are gonna be your best friends. It can have your back. Like usually, like my quote unquote like rocker goth friends were kind of like pussies, and would never like get into arguments or fights. They would try, they would try to separate themselves from that, and I can respect that. But there's some times where you need to have somebody that could be like, Oh, this dude's fucking with you? Let's fuck with him back. Let's whoop his ass. And I, I luckily enough, like, my dad always was around with people that were kind of ghetto. Quote, unquote, if that's the word that I got to use. And I don't know. I don't know what's the definition. To, what is the definition of ghetto to you guys? Tell me in the comment section. What is the definition of ghetto to you? What is a ghetto person? To me, a ghetto person is uh, a person that has been raised uh, through like poverty and know like they know how hard life is whereas in like a lot of people out there don't even know what is to go without food like there's always food at your house there's always things like where in these in this case these kids that I call quote unquote ghetto um had gone through a lot of shit they, they have they had gone through like like Christmas without getting gifts they they gone where like parents mistreating them 
they I, I guess they go through like rougher things but also the term ghetto will also go with the idea of like people that they act really inappropriate i guess like you would see it somebody in uh, i guess at a walmart or a kmart or let's say con a convenience store and let's say something didn't go right they would be like the ones who say god this motherfucking bitch did this and fuck this shit to me like screaming at the top of their lungs i'm like dude like there are people too you're harassing them most likely that's not even their fault that is something that could be conveniently categorized as ghetto so there's a lot there's a lot of different definitions for ghetto to a lot of people to me it's like for me more it's the people that have gone through like harder times and had to like deal with shit so to some people are just people that are just rude and don't give a fuck there's a lot of definitions for it but i want to know what's your definition of, of ghetto per se but again going with this the whole bullying thing i guess i, I got lucky because my dad always my family my whole family was it's it's latino and us Latinos, especially Puerto Ricans, we're known for being loud, obnoxious, silly. We're known for throwing one of the, the best parties. We're known for drinking. We're known for a lot of crazy ass stuff. Essentially, I've never been in too much into the whole drinking thing. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I have drank and everything. It's what adults do, you know, to, to just have a good time. But me personally, I'm the person that doesn't drink just because I'm bored. I drink to drink casually. And I don't, I don't, I really don't tell, I really don't motivate my subscriber base to say, Hey, drinking is cool. Cause it's not, it's drinking. is just something that adults do either to take their stress out, to just vent, to relax. And I, that's something I, I don't recommend everybody and their mother to try. Cause it's, it's something, it's weird. And to me, I, funny thing is like, even though I'm an adult, I hate beer. I know everybody makes fun of me. They're like, Sly, why do you don't like beer? I, I don't know. It just... It smells like piss and tastes like piss. Not that I know what piss tastes like, but it's just weird. It just, ugh. I, I, I can drink alcohol like vodka or something like that, but I can never drink like beer. I don't know why. So people, uh, funny thing is, um, my friend, I had Kukwe, I went uh, over there to LA and they're like, oh, you, you need to go out drinking. We'll get you something that you'll pre pretty much like and everything. I'm like, all right, cool, cool. Maybe it's the fact that I haven't tried the right quote unquote beer per se i'm like you know what I'm, i'll give it a shot and and they're like oh this beer tastes like fruity pebbles i'm like all right cool i try it it tastes the like same thing i'm like what the fuck tiff this tastes like shit this doesn't taste anything like fruity pebbles are you tripping and she's like oh i don't know and to me i realize what it is i uh, if i don't know if i'm not mistaken any any beer experts because i know that i have a really young subscriber base but I know that I have adults too, like older people on their 20s watching my videos. And by that, for that, thank you. Because I like having a lot of different ranges of uh, ages that I can talk to and, and say stuff and whatnot. I, I like to to just communicate with different ages. It's, it's cool. It's, it's really actually pretty cool that to know that you have all different kinds of ages uh, watching your videos. It, it really means a lot to me. Uh, but I don't know how I, I don't know what I, I don't know if I like this. But I think this is gonna be more of a filler, just just a back wall. I probably put art there. Oh, bird, get out of here! But I noticed. I think I do know why I don't like beer, and the reason is, it's the hops. I think beer have this thing, this this ingredient called hops, and I think it's included in almost every single beer. And I just don't like the taste of that. It just tastes so freaking weird. I don't know. But anyways, I got distracted. We were going with the whole bullying thing and the ghetto thing anyways. I always do that. I don't know why. <laughs> but here's the thing. So when I was a little kid, I always got bullied. Or not always, but anytime that I would get bullied, I always had the backup of friends. And this is why I tell you guys. A lot of people that are in school or that are young, that are still in this opportunity and face of meeting friends, make sure to be as... as as friendly as possible. Try to make as many friends as possible while you're in school. Because I'll be honest, after high school or after college, it gets really hard to make friends. Or you just become like so like, uh, like you're like, eh, I don't, why should I make friends? To the point that it's almost virtually impossible to make friends. I could be wrong. I'm just talking for myself. And I'm not saying that I'm an antisocial. Because like I have made friends after high school. But I'm just so much more careful because I learned a lot of things through life because you can't just always trust people out there. People are always going to be out there to look out for themselves. And that's what something that really bothered me because like for me, all my friends and everybody else or just anybody in particular, I would try to be nice to them because I, I guess my my mentality goes treat others how you would like to treat yours. Like how would you like them to treat you? 
And that so far has worked wonders for me. I have met amazing people and you know, it, j it just have has been an amazing ride as, as I go on. Uh, I think I need to make this a little bit. What the fuck? Oh, a workbench. Let me get this shit out of here. Get out of here. All right. But I I'm telling you guys, to make the easiest time to make friends is when you're in high school and when you're in, mid in middle school, elementary, all this stuff. If you're, if you're in any of this, make sure to keep your friends. And here's the thing that sucks. Maybe you do make your friends and you make a lot of friends. Make sure you keep up with them. Make sure that you, you care for them because you want them to care for you. You want them to have your back. You want them to, when it's your birthday, you want them to call you. You want to have your Facebook, your whatever, or your phone number spam with people saying, Happy birthday, Kyle. Happy birthday, Susie. Happy birthday, insert your name of the person watching. But remember, friendship goes both ways. And I realized this. It's just like, I throughout the whole time that I've been like doing my career and everything, I have been kind of like, uh, about friends. And I, I, I just, even at, at my age, I learned about life and whatnot, which is weird. God damn it. I have another shovel. Of course I don't. Fuck. Uh, I should have like a lot. I need to find a lava puzzle so I can, lava plate so I can throw shit. I don't know why. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna, can I fix this? I'm just gonna take this whole, this whole contraption down. Oh, I need to make a shovel. Damn it. You know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna throw. I'm gonna throw everything down here. Oh, give me a second. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Dirt on dirt on dirt, motherfucker. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, that's good enough. But going back to the whole, to the whole friend thing, because I think this is. I, I believe actually, it's funny enough. I'm not one to watch people's. Uh, to watch other YouTubers, but I actually watched Immortals uh, Spooky Craft where he talked about this and it was pretty cool. And I think that was a topic that I wish I could have. I think I can actually make a no-no topic about it, but instead of making a no-no topic, I'm gonna. I decided to take a more chillax approach to homie crafting, homie power level Friday. You see, I'm really hyper energetic and in your face, and I just. Like that, but I decided to. Dude, what, what the fuck was that? You? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm still getting over this stupid cough. Ugh, I hate it. But usually I'm really energetic and I'm still confused why did I did that scream, but anyways. As I was saying, you know, it, it's weird. Like for me, I, I, I'm not, I wasn't the person that would keep up with my friends. And I feel bad. Because actually, I saw, like I said, I saw Immortal talk about friendship and he went through something, I guess, similar like this, which is weird. Because I don't know, where are the odds of that? But, it, and it's true. You gotta, you gotta be like aware of what's going on. You gotta know what's going on with your friends you gotta if you want your friends to care about you you need to care about them it's not a one-way street when it comes to friendships and a lot of people don't realize that just they say oh he's my friend he's gonna do everything for me no friends have feelings and shit you gotta really cater to what what's going on with their lives and everything if you want them it's, it's like i said you give what you want back and sometimes it's not the case sometimes it's true like sometimes your friends are not gonna give all the support that you want back. And this is when you start realizing, well, if he's not doing for this for me, then maybe I should kind of hold back. It, it's up to you how you go about like the whole friendship. It's, it's such a weird thing. Like friendship is one of the most conflict, like conflict involving and complicated shit in the world. But in reality is, imagine if we were always by ourselves alone. Imagine how shitty our life would be. It's, I, I am blessed to have the people that I have. I am blessed to be part of, of the creatures. I am blessed to be Immortal's friends. I am I'm blessed to be uh, Lucy the Gamer's friend. I'm blessed to be I has Cuckoo's friend. And the list goes on. I'm blessed through everybody that has worked with me. I am super blessed because they're there for me. If I ever needed any help, I know that they would help me. Or I would hope so that they would help me. And... And that's why I think I, I cater to them as much as I do because I don't want to I don't want to die and, and know that that nobody will come to my funeral. I don't want to I want to know that I did something good for this world. And this is one of the reasons I do the nono topics to help you guys out there that are going through rough shit to help you guys understand that there's methods of you know fixing your problems or maybe seeing that your problems that you have right now maybe are not as big as you think they are. Sometimes us when we have so many problems. They're probably like as minuscule as, as they're probably super minuscule to the point that they're they actually are pretty pathetic to actually worry about. 
And I'm not saying that your problems could be pathetic. Maybe you're going through something really rough. But sometimes, here's here's the thing about going through through problems and everything. Sometimes when when problems hit us, we either get sad, we get depressed, we we worry too much, and our mind completely gets blanked out through through all the problems and you can't make a correct judgment you can't think correctly and this influence your decision the best thing to do when you're making a decision uh, an, uh, an important one for that for that matter is to actually and, and this is something i always do or try to do whenever i make a decision if i know that i'm upset if i know that i'm butthurt if i know that that i'm mad or sad or whatever i take myself out of that that scenario relax play with puppy chef or or call my mother or talk to to anybody i talk to spoon i talk to alex i talk to p bat anybody and i'm like i i talk to them like dude i i'm kind of upset let me vent with you and they're like yeah dude let's whatever and that's why i consider them more than just youtubers i consider them more than just internet friends because you know what funny thing is like and this nothing against my family because i love my family my family is hardcore awesome possum but here's the thing, sometimes, even though I know these people are just miles and miles away, maybe from another country, these people are the ones that care about you sometimes. These people are the ones that are there to hear you vent, to let you release this anger. And I'm not saying, guys, to just try to be friends with anybody that you meet on the internet. You got to be really careful. But with me, most of these people, I actually met them in real life. The only person that I haven't met in real life has been p I think. Yeah, p And I haven't met Spoon yet. I don't know if that will ever happen because he's really he's really secretive with his personality and whatever. But I respect that. You know, that's another thing. You always got to there's probably certain things about your friends that you might not like. You're like, wow, you're really stupid about that. But it takes more. To, it, it, I think your friends will support you more when you respect special decisions or whatever. Spoon doesn't. He hates the fact that people want to see his face. Like, why the fuck do you guys care if, if Spoon shows his face or not? Like. There's a lot of people that are obsessed with the idea of Spoon showing his face. And to be honest, to me, I don't care. I really don't even want to see his face. To me, he can just be a, a walking horse for all that matters. But other than that, he he's a true friend. He's there when I need him, and, and I appreciate that. It's weird as it sounds because I don't record as much with him, but me and him are actually really cool. And same with Seamus and everybody. All the creatures are fucking hella, hella chill. That's, that's just bottom line. My friends are creatures are... The coolest fucking crew ever. And I am so lucky to have them. That's just how I am. And this is pretty much the whole conversation with the whole friends. Going back to like the whole thing when I was young and getting bullied. I got lucky that I have friends. And I'm telling you guys. Maybe, maybe you know, being a video game person like this at this age will be a lot more harmful than you think. Like, I don't know, I don't know why I'm saying this, but... Maybe one day go out, play some basketball, try to sport, whatever. Chances are that you might have better chances of meeting friends because I don't know. It could work. It could not work. I know a lot of my fans out there, they have a Tumblr, have been, have become friends through people's same uh, passion. Like a lot of people. And it's funny thing is, and I know that people are going to get weird and whatnot. I'm sorry, but if you're watching this, cool. If not, whatever. But uh, I know a few people by kind of heart and name. Uh, what is it? There's one called Light Diffuse, and there's Lee Stephanie, and there's a, a bunch more. I'm sorry if I don't mention name girls and, and boys and whatnot, but these people became friends through the, the fact that they're fans of the creatures, and they're legit friends. They're like, they, they chill with each other on Skype, and they, they, I think, uh, they actually made a little, a little group. What was it called? It's, it sounds like the Yox Cats. I think it's called the Yolo Cast. I think it, it, they just picked Yolo Cast to just fuck around. They thought it was funny. I thought it was funny too. I'm like Yolo Cast. I get it. <laughs> you, you creeps. But <laughs> they 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 just became like hardcore friends through through internet, and it's because they have the same I guess hobbies and and passion and like love for the creatures and games. And I'm not saying that just if if you go out, chances are it's gonna be you're, you're gonna have a better chance of meeting friends. Actually, no. You might actually. Have a better chance of meeting a creep sandwich. And you don't want to meet no creep sandwich. Creep sandwiches are bad. That's alright. From now on, homies. From now on, anybody that's just being rude and mean and, and ignorant. And I liked it. I knew, I, at first I knew that we wanted to call them uh, uh, dick, dick slappers. But that never really caught on. But I like I liked the term creep sandwich. It's just a creep sandwich is what we're going to call our haters. 
that they either hate on the creatures or hate on, on the homies or me or whatever. That's what we're going to call him from now on. I think PewDiePie actually has something like that too, if I'm not mistaken. And I, I you know what? Really enough, just, just touching real quick. And we'll go, we'll go back to the whole creature sandwich or anything. But I realistically, I personally don't have any problems with PewDiePie. I don't... I don't mind if he ever decides to play a game that I play. I don't care if he plays the same games after me or whatever. And I don't get it. I'm, there's, sadly enough, the bros out there. And I know that's your nickname, guys. I know that there's a, lo a lot of homies are bros too. And that's fine. You guys are not. You guys can be part. You can be a bro. You can be a noble lover. You can be a teen silverback. You can be a creator, a critter, whatever. I don't care. You, you can be everything and more around the sun. I, I, I love all fan base alike because why why can't why should i hate on the bros because they love pewdiepie that you guys are no different than than the homies you guys are essentially PewDiePie has created the same thing that i created with the homies and why should i hate on that the only thing that i do notice is that there's certain certain oddballs or a few bad, bad apples and i know there's a few bad apples in the homies but you know us commentators we can't control that and sadly enough, when people just become big trolls out there, they set up name a bad name not only for the commentator but for the whole fan base, and that's kind of shitty. I I and and it sucks because like personally, PewDiePie seems like a fucking rad dude. That's that's how it is. Like that's just how it is. Same with Nova, and and same with with all creatures and all commentators out there. The Yox cats, everybody, everybody out there. I think that personally. Us commenters, we don't got beef with each other. We don't have problems with each other. It's the fan base that think that just because somebody does a game or does something similar to the to, to us, we're gonna be mad. Some sense, most of the time, we don't even care or even know what other people do. Like, I I don't know why. I apparently I noticed it. Somebody told me, "Oh, you're copying PewDiePie with Portal 2." I'm like, "Who the fuck? How is how am I copying him? Why? Why why am I copying him?" And and I real somebody showed me he's like oh he's doing somebody a, a homie came out he's like no dude you're stupid PewDiePie is playing with his friend Cry and and Sly Fox is doing single player and apparently actually by the way I didn't realize this but C uh C Royal Viking he's doing a, a Portal One story mode playthrough so uh and I know that he's all about Portal I know that his inside jokes are about Portal and everything so you guys should definitely go to his channel his I have it in my main channel. And you can go check his playthrough. He's fucking awesome. I love... I feel like Sea Royal Viking is one of these people that don't get en enough attention. And I don't know if it's just because he has to focus around school or other things like that. But I don't know. I, I feel like he doesn't get as much attention as, as he should. And definitely. And I same thing with Lucy. That's the reason why I've been playing with Lucy as much. Because like she's a really... Alright. With Lucy, here's the word, the thing. I remember seeing and knowing about her through Machinima Respawn and I got to play with her once Call of Duty and I know a lot of you guys might not like Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty as much as you might not be, you would be surprised. My first video ever on my channel, if you guys go all the way back, was a video with me and my ex teaching you guys in Modern Warfare 2 how to actually find the good spawn points to like kill people and shit like that and I was so proud of myself. That I did that. And I love Call of Duty with a passion. I'll be definitely playing. What the fuck, Fox? <gasps> oh my god. You made me shit my pants. Alright, so. We have a structure. That looks kind of shitty. It does really look really shitty. But we'll fix it. Believe believe it. We're going to fix that. Uh, I need to get more wood. I have the normal light wood. But I don't want to use that kind of wood. Or maybe I do, actually. Give me a second. Maybe for the entrance, I can use the light wood. Let me see. Yeah, let me see. That could probably work out for the best. Let me actually put some... Do I have more cobblestone? Yeah, let me put this to, I guess, get cooked or whatever you want to call it. Do we have more cobblestone? Oh, yeah, we have stone bricks. I was making this. I remember that. Sweet. Awesome. All right. So maybe I can make... Hmm, let, me, let, me visual, let me visualize what I have in my mind. All right, let me see. Huh. All right, I kind of have an idea what I want. I always do this kind of setup, like, when, when my house is, I kind of always have, like, the same kind of setup, but it's just because I like how it looks. But going back to the whole PewDiePie and thing and, and whatnot and fan base, 
I, I love when, when my fan base are supportive. I love when you guys defend me when somebody either calls me or the creatures out saying we copy. I really do. And and sometimes you you, you know the fan base is not the problem. The commentary is not the problem. It's some sometimes it's just a few a few of the fan base. It's not the whole fan base, but just a few people there are just either too young or they're just legit trolls. Or I don't know what could it be. It's something around that where they go and they feel like they need to defend you to the core where us commenters really don't give a fuck if somebody does the same thing we do. We're all YouTubers. We all play video games. Why does it matter if somebody else plays the same shit we play? I personally don't give a flying rat's ass. Really, I don't. Like, I really don't give a fuck if PewDie, if Nova, if anybody does whatever. Because at the end of the day, we're just the same. We're commentators. Regardless if they have more subs, less subs. To me, that doesn't matter because that's to me a number. I don't care about numbers. I don't care about what other people do. I care about what you guys want. I care about what makes you guys happy. I care about what entertains you guys. That's what I really care about. So whenever you guys say, "Give me, uh, we want more homie craft, I try my hardest to do that. I try to give you guys as much homie craft as possible. I try to give you guys more spore or games that I enjoy that you guys enjoy too. Because your feedback is really important. And that's all that we care. At the end, that's what we commentators do. We do what the fans do. Maybe not to the full extent. Because um, let me give you an example of what I mean with the whole full extent. Uh, somebody was saying, Ah, so you're playing with Lucy. And that's so, she's so annoying. Stop playing with her. And I, I said, uh, I, I actually replied to this comment. I'm like, just because you don't like my friend, I'm not going to stop playing with them. Just, just put yourself in this scenario. Let's say this. If somebody, if you had a best friend and then a new friend came out of nowhere and said, uh, I really like you, but I think you should stop talking to this person because he's annoying. Would you stop talking to your friend for that? Fuck no. Of course you wouldn't stop talking to them because I just want that stupid. And why would I stop talking to my friend just because you don't like him? Like, then just don't. In, in this case, for you guys watching videos, don't watch videos that says Lucy on the top. That's what I'm going to say. Or if you don't like Immortal, don't watch videos that says Immortal HD on top of that. At the end of the day, I'm going to play with whoever I want because they're what? My friends. And you should never just throw away a friend just because one person doesn't like them. That's, imagine if, if that was the other way and your friend, who you call your best friend, decided to stop talking to you because another friend of his didn't like you. How shitty would that be? That would be the worst. That would be shit city. And I, I wouldn't want anybody to do that. And I would never allow anybody. I, I can lose thousands and thousands of subs and, and homies just because they don't like me playing with somebody. I don't care. Because as much as I love you guys, I love doing things that make me happy. The reason my channel has been so successful is because I stuck with the things that make me happy. And that's the things that you guys should do. Any commentary out there, any any homie that wants to, to become a, a YouTuber... Stick to your guns. Don't become a sellout. Be the person that you want to be. Stick to your convictions. Do what you want to do and do it well. Make sure that, that you do things correctly. And exactly like when I said with the whole fan base, don't use your fan base. If you ever get one, don't use your fan base to fight your battles. Be a fucking adult. Be a man or a woman if you want, if that's your case. And like fight and stand for what you believe. Don't, don't let others like tell you what you need to do the difference between like letting others give you advice and telling them like let, there's a big difference between when you guys tell me oh Sly we want to see more Minecraft to ah oh, stop playing with this a big difference one is a suggestion and the other is a demand I'm, I don't I don't answer to the man so that's that's just bottom line who I am I don't answer to the bands I don't just because you want this doesn't mean I'm gonna do it that's something you guys should realize and it does that's how you guys should live your life where where like like especially if you're young you obviously have to listen to your parents that's just bottom line i i fully fully support the fact that you got to listen to your parents that one does not make you a pussy that does not make you a less less of a person that doesn't do anything that doesn't make you a bad person if you listen to your parents that's just, unless they tell you to jump off a bridge if that's the case then yeah don't do that because you know that's your life at stake i think hopefully you have better judgment to not do such a thing, but <laughs> like I don't know, it just stick to your guns. If stick what your what to your gut feeling. That's that's pretty much what I gotta say with this one. You know, talking about friendships and whatnot. Stick to your guns. Stick to your friends. Make sure you take care of them. 
if you want them to take care of you and just be a good person that's that's how it goes because like there's enough bad people out there there's enough people that scam that that do false advertisement there's people that they care about money and and listen guys i'm aware that this is my job i know that i need to pay my rent and i know that i need to pay everything i'm a i'm more than aware of that i'm super aware that that i gotta do things to to make my job work but i'm not gonna go and do cheap tactics to to get views or whatever if anything i will always find ways to give you guys content that entertains you guys more and i need to fucking fix this because this is gonna bother the fuck out of me if i don't fix that oh man and wow this 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 homie craft and homie spot little friday has become I guess more serious than anything. And if you guys like this kind of thing, tell me in the comment section because I would love to talk more about personal things and things that are meaningful and everything while we watch Minecraft. Because, I don't know, sometimes... Actually, you know what? Funny thing is, I started like... And I don't know if you guys do this. You guys can tell me in the comment section too. What I do now is, uh, let's say if I'm rendering a video or doing something, what I do is um, I put a video that's like really long, like an hour long video, like it's either like... Uh, Seamus hour long power level whatever like power hour power whatever he calls it. I don't know and uh, And I just leave it there and I just listen to him while like rendering or just playing smite League of Legends or whatever and It's actually kind of cool. I can see why you guys like hour long videos like I can actually Understand why you guys liked it at first. I was like why the fuck these guys like hour long videos I'm so fucking confused and then I just realized it just it's good to like listen to somebody talk while you're just either doing your homework or like at work or whatever. It's fucking cool. I really realized that it's chill. And it sucks that most of the time I won't be able to give you guys always hour long videos. But there will always be videos for you guys from me. That's always something that I, I, I gotta do. Hey, give me a second. I, I just realized something. Because I can make a second floor. Hoot! I can make a second floor that connects with this. Hey. Yeah. It's like a little escape route. And it goes straight to the... Bacon belly, bitch. Ha! Nice. Alright. So I'm going to do that. I, I got an idea. That's cool. This house is going to look awesome. Alright. So I'm going to make a second floor status kind of deal. So let's just make this... I want it. I want. I want to have like a balcony kind of deal. Like they will stand up and will look all nice. So I think I'm gonna just get normal light colored wood and just cover this first floor. Just put this over here. But yeah, it, it's it's just the whole thing with the whole copy and thing and everything. I know that all the bros are not bad. Most of the bros are awesome. Most of the bros that I um, all the if you guys don't know. Or whatever, or I don't know. I want. I don't know how I'm gonna go about saying this correctly, but I know most of you guys are bros or like Swifters or family strong, whatever. And I don't mind it. And I'm aware that the bros are not the bad guys or PewDiePie is not the bad guys. It's just certain people that think it's funny to troll other YouTubers, and then by doing that, they make a specific fan base look bad. And I'm aware that a few of the homies probably did that. But guys, like I'm telling you, if you guys actually watch it to this point, I want you if you're actually watching to this point and you have heard everything that I said, tell me, Sly. I I I I'm listening to you and I agree. Or if you're saying Sly, I'm listening to you and I don't agree. I just want to know that you guys are listening to this point because I always like to see if people actually watch the hour long videos because I go through the effort of making hour long videos. I, I like to know who actually watches them. Or if I should continue making hour long videos for Friday. But I know that the fan base is not the problem. It's just a few Ryan apples that fuck up the whole batch. And it sucks. It sucks because us commentators, like I said, we don't have problems with each other. We're really cool with each other. Sometimes we don't even talk to each other because we don't even know about each other. And it sucks that, that our fans have to like be mean instead of like instead of saying oh you're copying this person why don't we do this when you see somebody making a video it, it, or whatever and, and you actually saw somebody else they're like oh i saw pewdiepie playing this and he did really good i love seeing your video here that's awesome like instead of like saying cop you copy or you did this just if you give it a shot if you like it be like oh that's cool or saying oh I, you're doing this that's really cool I, I i i saw pewdiepie and that was cool too or i saw nova and that was really cool and I like that you're doing it. Or, oh, uh, you, you could probably do this better. Or give, even give us tips. 
about how to play specific games better if you've seen other people play it. And I told you guys plenty of time, if you guys seen a game that another commentator plays and you guys want me to play, tell me, don't be afraid because I personally don't give a fuck if somebody calls me out for copying because realistically, I don't give a flying ass about anything. I do what my homies want and that's what I always do. I always will have your back. I always give you guys the content that you guys want and that's the bottom line. That's why I'm still doing Amnesia. I need to record some of that. I apologize because I haven't recorded any of it. I've just been really busy with other series. But I'll come back to it because Amnesia is one of those games that it doesn't matter if you record today or 10 years. It's, it's a scary game regardless. And I have a bunny jumping on my roof. What a dick. Meow, meow, meow. All right, let me... I, I think I'm going to make a... What the fuck? Oh, my God. The cat killed him. And we have a kitty inside our house. Sweet. Wow, see? Whenever you don't look for things, they come to you. What a twist! What a twist! Ba, 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 da, ba. Alright, so... The first part is kind of done. I think I need to make it a little bit nicer. Because it's a little bit too plain. So I'm going to make a room. I'm going to make my room and whatnot. This is the kitchen. Do we have torches? Yeah, we do. But we have very little. We need to get more torches, huh? That sucks. That sucks. i uh, put one here one here all right so this is the kitchen area so i'm gonna divide that how can we do that how can we divide and conquer let me do this let me take this out and do we have normal yes we do we have normal woods let me put a few of this here it's like a little yeah like a little bar yeah i like that actually let me do it like this all right let me put it like that and then actually Go like this. Ha uh ha. -huh. So that's. This is the. Uh, huh. Maybe I could do this. And this could be like a living room kind of deal. Hey. Do one of these. Then. I'm gonna. I like that. That putting glass on top of this area. So let me put this here. Boop, boop. Makes it look fancy. I don't know why. So that's the kitchen. This is the living room. So let me make some chairs or whatnot. Um, how do I go? I'm trying to figure out which is the best way to go about things. Hmm. So I can use this for. I need to make a room area. So I think I could, I'm gonna make. Hmm. I don't know. I'll probably just make my bed here next to the kitchen. Kind of shitty. I'm aware. Don't don't yell at me for that. But. For now, it's like a it's like an apartment loft kind of deal, all right? So deal with me. And maybe, you know what? When I'm lazy and I just want to make myself a sandwich, I'll be like, oh my God, I'm sleeping. Uh, let me open the fridge. Uh, oh my God, I got a fish here. Uh, that was convenient. I didn't even plan for that, by the way. And I go, ah, uh, yeah, and I eat it. But I'm actually going to save this fish for one of the kitties. Because even though I hate kitty cats, I'll probably have to have one. I want to have a house cat. Actually, no. I'm going to get a dog. Fuck that noise. Fuck you, cat. You can get the fuck out of here. You guys are too much. You're too much. Get out of here. Get, get the fuck out of here. I'm going to have allergies with your ass over here. All right. Let me make... Um, hmm. How can we do this? Uh, I'm actually going to take this out of here. And then put the workbench right... Oh, I have two. That's awesome. I wanted to have two. There you go. I like that. That's a that's a nice looking looking place right that I got here. All right, so I think I want to make something here. Can I wall this off? Probably will wall that off. Let me see. Hmm. Ah, I know what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna since I'm gonna make the bed here, let me make this like fancy. Fancy motherfucker is a fancy motherfucker. Da da da. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, bam. Da, da, da. And then we'll want. Huh. Huh. We're gonna be f sleeping with style. Look at that. And then, I always do this. I don't know why. I'm, I have an obsession with, like, these kind of things. I don't know why. Just who I am, I guess. Alright. Bop, bop, bop. And then. Bop, bop, and bop. Alright, nope. Also, I need to make... Do I have cobblestone? Yes, I do. What the hell was that noise? What was that noise? Huh? What was that noise? Alright, so... Let's see. How can we do this? Huh. 
Maybe if I do this. I don't think I have enough um, fence thingies, but whatever. There you go. Can I actually sleep? I probably I'm gonna probably bump my head there. Should be a little bit higher, right? Yeah. Poop. 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 Let me see. I I won't be able to make it higher. Fuck. Whatever. We'll deal with it like this then. Just we'll make it plain. To the plane, baby. To the plane. Nah, we gotta do that. Okay. Uh, it's not bad. We can put two torches there. Up here. One there. And one there. Oh, and then we can do with this. That. That. Then. Hey, I like that. Looks fancy. We should get some art there, too. I don't know how to make it, but I'll probably find out eventually. Alright, so that's my bed. Should have something here. Probably gonna have a storage system. We're gonna have more uh, coffins or whatever chests because we need it. What time is it? It's still daytime, huh? So so far, look at my house. My house is amazing. Give it a lick. It tastes just like bacon. Uh, no. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. All right, there you go. Let's do this to make it all nice. I feel like I'm gonna have a, a full house kind of house. What happened to the bit the bit the D the milkman the paper boy? Oh damn it! Okay. All right, so over here. Bye bye. Hey, the house is looking pretty fresh. Swag-tastic. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. Swag. All right, so here or here? There you go. My house is beautiful. I always do this. I always like this kind of thing. Ah, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. What the fuck? That's a little rat thingy. Bad little rat thingy. Alright. Alright, so let's put... I need to make more fence thingies. The house is looking pretty nice. It looks pretty dead right now. Like, not that much stuff going on, but... We'll get better. Don't worry about it, homies. Um, this is kind of where we can get a lot quicker. So I'm just going to get like that. And let's put this here. And let's make more more of these thingies. Dun, dun, brown. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's go out and fix that. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this, this homie craft. I know it's a little bit different than the normal homie craft that we have. I know that you guys probably, I don't know if you guys are into these like deep conversations, no stuff and whatnot, but you know, it's, it, you in order to find out things, you got to give it a shot. I guess that's how I go about the mentality. Like, I don't know what my homies like until I do it. And if they don't like it, then all right, then they don't like it. Usually I listen to suggestions. That's the best way I go about finding what you guys like. But sometimes, uh, oh wow, I, there's so many cats here. What the fuck? Ah! No, 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 no. I just feel like I haven't, oh man, I think we should, f can we, can I feed you? All right, can you be one? Yes! Uh, garbage. No, uh, oh, I know what I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you garbage can in Spanish. Safacong. Come over here, Safacong. Come. Come. I don't have no more wheat. Come with me. You're gonna be a garbage disposal. Or not, I guess. Let me see. I'm gonna get him inside the house. That's gonna be our. Oh, what the fuck? How the fuck did you get in here? What the hell? How did that. That made no sense. Oh, I gotta put bricks here to fix that. Uh, uh. That's gonna bother me now. Uh. Fuck. I shouldn't do that. Whatever. Actually, we can just do this for... Uh, let me see. I can just make a little chair area there. Why not, right? Ah, tits. Uh, we can just do this. Hopefully that doesn't look bad from outside. Let's put a ch Let's make a little chair area for whoever. Even though this is a single player, I always like to believe that one day, somebody will come to my single player and be like, Oh, hey, let me see your house. And I want them to be impressed with my house. That's just me, uh, maybe, I don't know. Let's make a little. Yeah, you guys can sit there. There you go, not bad. Actually, let me do something else too. 
Uh, ding, 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 ding. Where is, where is it? Where is it? Uh, is that it? No, we want that one. The other one. That one. So, let's make a few. Damn, I made them all? What the hell? Just wanted a few, not all of them. We couldn't had it all. Alright, let's do a little table here. Oh, no, no. I gotta put the sticks first. And then we gotta put... One, two, three. And then we put the little table here. Where is it? There you go. There you go. A little place, like a little bar. Maybe we should clean this up. Like this, have it up so I can just... Whenever they want anything, I can just get them to there. I'm like... Hey, Scotty, what you want? A fish, you say? We're fresh out of them, sorry. <laughs> I think we need to light up the house. That's why the skeleton was spawning here. Alright. Let's put um one here. That will make it nice. Uh, one here. So, so far the house is looking pretty awesome. And with the whole thing, I know that, that I'm I, I'm a more than aware. That I'm the type of person that, that starts in something and that completely goes off topic into something else. But... That's just the nature of the beast. That's just who I am. I am completely sorry if you guys don't like that. But we touched on a lot of subjects today. And and we are already 50 minutes into this recording, which is awesome. Because it felt like nothing. To me, it felt like nothing. And it went mad quick. And I love that. I love when that stuff happens. Like, when time flies by, I love it. Makes me feel all like, oh man. Life is such a weird thing. And time just flies by like nothing. We still need to get our aquarium going on too for our dolphins and whatnot whenever we start getting that. Because we have a lot of things we need to do. It's like, oh yeah, we need to get the goat. I forgot. We tamed the goat and haven't gotten it. And what is this horse doing here? We need to start fixing that farm too. Motherfucker! You ate it! Oh man! What is he chasing? What are you chasing, cat? What the fuck? Get out of here. And we're trying to get back our XP because, like, oh shit, we can. You know what? I'm gonna. Let me put some things in chests and whatnot. I need to make more chests and whatnot. So, where are we gonna put more chests? Yeah, I think we can call this a chest area. I'm gonna put a little fence here. Do, do. Do, do. Yeah, that, no, one more. There we go. And let's make some more chests. Let's throw some stuff out of here. I see. I'm gonna get all these bones. This dirt. I don't know why I'm gonna keep it, but I'll throw it away eventually. When we have... Oh, fuck yeah. I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be awesome. Um, I need the bones. I need a hoe. Where's my hoe? I know I have one here. There it is. Got it. All right. Damn it. I didn't mean to throw that. I have bones. Yep. Let's make that into not not all of them actually. Let's make only three because we need we want to have a pet dog. I'm a dog. Wait, did I not make it? And why am I doing it here? Whenever I can just do it here. Whatever. Anyways, let's see. Why is the horse there, dude? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's just bottom line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's here? What do we got here? Uh, more XP. Alright, so let's plant these shenanigans. And let's get this here too. Alright, so let's... Nice. And we go... Blue Skadoo. We can do. I just put this here. I'll take all of it. Why not? And I can just replant more. Ah. Yeah. Awesome. But yeah, I, I really, I really like talking about things like that. They are going on with my fan base or other people's like problems and just inf inform me about things. What what is in in going to summary just to make it short. What we talked about. 
we don't care. You shouldn't care of what who's doing what or what not. Who's who's copying or not. We're all gamers at the end of the day. It doesn't really matter. Another thing that we learned in this video, if you actually watch the whole thing, is you shouldn't care. You should give other people a try, like friend wise. Like what the fuck is going on here? Where's that go? Wow, you're such a fucking daredevil. I don't know how you're doing. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Hey, come on. Oh no! Just don't fall into the snake pit. That's all that I care. Don't fall into the snake pit, please. Come on. There you go. Come on. Let's go, Safakon. Safakon, 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 Kong, Kong. Another thing that we talked about in this video, if you didn't tell us, it's like. Try to give other people a chance, regardless if they're ghetto or not. Just because they had a hard life doesn't mean that that they're bad people. And on top of that, these people can also be the the people that will back you up later on in life. Usually, ghetto people don't give a fuck about getting into fights or not and whatnot. The reason why is because they most likely don't have much to lose. They don't have the, everything they had. Either they lost their people or took away from them, whatever. Just be really careful. But give people a chance regardless if they're ghetto or not. Come over here, Sabacon. Come over here, baby. Why are you being a little punk ass? Come over here. Come here. Ah, boy. Now go over here. And. Damn it, that sucks. I need to change that window. Let me fix that. Let me switch the window for actual glass. That way he doesn't jump over. Alright. The reason I call in Safakon is because sometimes I'm gonna have to. I wanna throw garbage away, and he eats pretty much everything. Like, no joke. Goats eat everything in this game. So, that's what I want. I wanted to have one of these. Go on. This is your little spot. And you don't have to feed them or anything like that. Look, I'm gonna grab. Let's see. That. That dirt that I have that I probably wanna get away with it. Let me see. 64 dirt. You ready for this? Yo, Safakon. Here you go, Papa. He just ate it. Oh, did he not? I don't know. I think he eats it. I don't know. Yep, he ate it right there. He just ate it. Let's just throw all this away. Huh. He just ate it. So anytime that we want to throw anything away, we can just throw it to Safakon, which means garbage. Ta-da! Ah, oh, man, I should have not fixed, changed that now. Let's just put it back to where it was. <laughs> Alright, so let's, put, let's make some more chests and whatnot. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Uh, the, the whole thing we talked about friendship and whatnot in this video and like I said keep be be true to yourself Always stick to your guns and do the things that you feel are right But don't get yourself get stripped all over and give other people a chance like you know You never know this person that you meet might be the next best friend that you could get and it, it would be sucky that We don't give other people chances because either aka they're ghetto or they just, I don't know, just people are stupid. I hate when people don't give others a chance just either because the way they were raised or brought up. You that What gives you the right for that? You're pretty much cutting yourself short of meeting somebody amazing. And that would be so sucky. Imagine if this person would be your your boyfriend or your next best friend or your, your next girlfriend or somebody amazing. Like You always want to give... You can eat that torch if you want. You want to eat it? He did. <laughs> And yeah, look, look, so far, let me look at my house right now. I got these flowers for a reason, so I'm gonna put them here. So, for appearance. And yeah, this is my little house so for now. I, I still gotta make a second floor, obviously. But I decided to give you guys something pretty to have, and it looks fucking awesome, actually. Holy shit. That looks sexy as fuck. It looks very, it's really rectangular and I think that's how I like my houses apparently. But there's going to be a second floor and I'll probably do that next episode. But to everybody watching out there, I appreciate it so much. If you can, by all means, make sure you leave a like in the, in the video. It shows your support and it's only for these videos that I really ask for you guys to go out all out of your way to... Um, Show your support. Any other videos, I just go and be like, all right, if they leave likes, okay, I'll take it as a suggestion that they like these series. If not, then whatever. But again, thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Sly Fox Town, and I hope that you enjoy this. And uh, tell me in the comment section, what would you like me to do? Is there something else that you would like me to build? 
or whatnot we'll definitely do that or if there's anything adventure wise you guys want me to f I, I remember seeing in the comment section that you guys wanted me to focus more on horses and not so much on the a there is that through you guys want me to like get a whole the whole horse shenanigans do you guys want me to start working on my sea world which is over here it's gonna be it's gonna t i feel like the sea world's gonna take me a lot longer than it, it's gonna take me to make a house but the reason is because i need to make a whole wall made out of glass in this area let me see real quick let me show you guys but if that's something you guys want we will definitely start doing it uh i think you guys will definitely start getting more homie craft on the week this week because i i'm planning to record more because i just want to keep building but yeah this is the wall that i want to make out of glass so like something like this we're gonna be drowning a lot by the way most likely but i'm just gonna go like this and just bop 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 just like up to this part and we got to do that with every like every single block here so like dolphins don't get out the only way and the way that we're going to be able when we take them outside we'll come over here jump the fence like free willy and they can live here in a nice environment where nothing bad can happen to them but again if this is what you guys want that's awesome we'll definitely start doing the comment section tell me in the comment section if this is what you want and definitely we'll start doing it in the next homie craft and if you, what you guys want is for me to start building my noah's ark of different animals or my stable for horses tell me in the comment section again anything that i do is all because of your suggestions and feedback and to everybody watching again thank you so much for watching my name is sly fox town and i'll talk to you guys later take care homies Sly! <laughs>